Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. I guarantee we do not know as black people, we don't know our true identity according to the Bible. Yeah. We go to church all our lives. We give tithes to the pastor all our lives. We go to the same church that our mother went to, our grandmother went to, and perhaps our great-grandparents went to. But you sit in that church all your life for all those generations, and you still don't know the truth. You still don't know your identity. I'm Officer Ariel. We are here to come. We came all the way out here to teach you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that you are God's chosen people. That's right. You're not black. You're not Latino. You're not Hispanic. You are the Israelites according to this Bible. But what happened? Why do we call ourselves black? Why do we call ourselves Hispanics? Why is there hatred among our people? What happened? At one point, we was fighting for civil rights. Nowadays we left the fight. We gotta let you know that it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Let's get that Romans um 13 and 11. It's time to wake up. Hey my brothers, come over here and build with your brothers. We out here for you, you so-called blacks and Latinos. You are God's chosen people. You're more than what the world calls you. You're not immigrants. You're not illegal aliens. You're not wetbacks, we're not niggas, we're God's chosen. Right. But it's time that you must wake up to the truth. Get that? Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Uh -huh. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to wake up, black man, black woman, Hispanic man, Hispanic woman. It's time to wake up to your identity. You are the Israelites. That's right. It's time to wake up. We live in an information age. You can find this research, you can do this research on your own. The Bible says don't take man's word. Use God's word. Use God's word to bring you back to your true identity. And that's what we had to do. We're going to use God's word to bring you back to your identity and bring you back to your purpose. That's but the right. first thing first, you must do what? It's high time. It's high time to awake out of sleep. It's high time to wake up out of your sleep. Read on. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Our salvation is nearer. Our salvation is near. We are here to compel you because it's high time. It's high time to wake up. Wake up to your identity. Wake up and understand why we are at the bottom of society. Wake up and understand what we must do in these last days because the last days are here. Our time is short. It's shorter than we believe. Because we think there's no hope. Remember one time we was fighting for civil rights, but what happened? We gave up on the fight. We forgot that the fight exists. The fight is still on. But the fight starts in your mind. We're not out here trying to gather our people with guns and violence. That didn't work. The biggest battle is freeing the minds of our people. But what you gotta do first, Ray? And then, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to wake up. Because once you wake up to who you are, can't nobody take that away from you. Can't nobody take away the truth. Especially when the truth is right in front of you. Who's going to listen? Who's going to listen? Finish up. But now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Believe it or not, our salvation is here. We can show you according to the Bible that the signs are here. There's wars going on. You got our brothers in Africa rising up. And Maui and Niger and Burkina Faso. They're not taking it no more. Because why? There's an awakening, a sense of awakening that something's not right. Because us as black people, Hispanic, we've been oppressed. We've lost our identity. You have to wake up to self. Wake up to the truth. Let's get that John 8 and 32. We have to wake up. 
Why? Because our salvation is nearer than we believe. You don't want to be caught snoozing out here in Cedar Rapids. I know you got your uh, low-income housing. You got your two duplex apartment. You're right across the street from the Walmart. We can't get comfortable here. Bring it out. We cannot. As long as our people are at the bottom, as long as we are, we are being brutalized, as long as we are being attacked and killed by white supremacists, we should never be comfortable here. Because believe it or not, there's a nation of people that hate our guts. Hey, my sister, how y'all doing? Come be with me. It's time to wake up. Well, this is good. John 8 and 32. John chapter 8, verse 32. Uh -huh. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. You should know the truth. And once you know the truth, it's going to set you free. It's going to set you free from all the lies that we've been taught. Bring it up. We've been taught lies our whole life. We've been taught religion. We've been taught a concept of religion. When you actually look in the Bible and read, it doesn't line up. Again, we're not no typical church group. We're not out here teaching Christianity. We're teaching the truth according to the Bible. That's, That's right. right. That's what's going to set us free at the end of the day. I know we all have a sense of knowledge. We ain't out here saying that everyone, anyone, y'all dumb out here. I understand we all know some capacity of knowledge. But one thing I guarantee we do not know as black people, we don't know our true identity according to the Bible. Yeah. We go to church all our lives. We give tithes to the pastor all our lives. We go to the same church that our mother went to, our grandmother went to, and perhaps our great-grandparents went to. But you sit in that church all your life for all those generations and you still don't know the truth. You still don't know your identity. I said something in the beginning. You so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. So-called blacks of Negro descent. So-called Hispanics and Natives of indigenous to this world, to this side of the world. You are the Israelites according to the Bible. Yeah, that's right. So you read the scriptures. When you read about the script in the scriptures, it's going to talk about a nation of people, the Israelites, God chosen people. Did you know that there's a book on the planet that's about you? The Bible is the number one bestseller in the world. It outsells every book. And the number one bestseller has your identity right there. But what, what is it? You have to wake up to it. You have to know the truth. And the truth should do you such a what? And the truth shall make you free. And the truth shall set you free. The truth will set you free from all the lies. The truth shall set you free from all the lies. And this bullhorn is pretty loud. There's no one in front of us, but your ears are hearing this truth. Because this is the truth. Bring it out. You hear this word. Let's go back to it. Because I said the truth shall set you free. What's the truth? So if we're going to talk about the truth, we have to talk about the past. We have to go back into history. Because last time I checked, we didn't just wake up in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Our, our history doesn't start in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Bring it out! Our history doesn't start in Chicago, in New York. Our history don't start in the streets. Our history don't start in the gangs. It starts here in the Bible. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Remember I said this book is your history. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Unto all Israel. This is your, this is your book. So we're talking about history. What happened to us? How did we go from fighting for civil rights? How did we go up from standing up for our own? How did we, be, how did we go from being united? To being separated. What happened? Let's get that Jeremiah 17 and 4. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4. Bring it up. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that, that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. So we're going to read this verse again. This verse is very profound and prophetic. 
It sums up our whole existence here in America as blacks and Latinos. Because it's, a, it's fair to say we don't get a fair shake. We can turn a blind eye, we can be in denial, but we don't get a fair shake. Read from the top. Jeremiah 17 verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thine heritage. But that's what happened. We, we forgot who we were. We forgot that we was the greatest people on the planet Earth. We forgot that day. We forgot that we was the greatest people on the planet. We was discontinued from our heritage. And what happened once we discontinued from our heritage? Read. And I would cause thee to serve thine enemies. Right, because it's like the blind leading the blind. If you don't know who you are, you're capable to serve anybody, anything. Right. So we, we, we was discontinued from our heritage. Okay. Hey, my sister, how you doing? What's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine, my name is Ariel. Come here for a second. I want to show you a few things. Again, we are Israel United in Christ. That's our organization. We are an organized nation. We are a Bible-based movement. We come out here to teach that the so-called blacks Hispanics and Native Americans, we are the biblical Israelites according to the Bible. Have you ever heard of the Bible or any, 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 right? So when we read the Bible, it's talking about a, a nation of people, the Israelites. Those, those same nation of people right here, the Israelites, those are the blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans. So let me show you the sound right here, right? Because these are, the nation of Israel consists of 12 tribes, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, all the way down, right? But of course, we're not known as the Israelites. We're known as everything else. So let me show you. Like your father, where do you see your father at? Is he American black, West Indian black, Haitian, Puerto Rican, Cuban, American black. So according to the Bible, you were the Israelites from the tribe of Judah. But I want to read the uh, verse 17 and 4 again. Because, have you ever heard this before? Hey, come over, my brothers. Come over. We are showing our people who they are. Come over, brother. We're going to be here. Come. 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 Have you ever heard this, that you was an uh, Israelite from the tribe of Judah? You never heard that before, right? Have you been in church before? Before you was Muslim, okay. But you went to church and then you went, then you went to Islam. When you was a kid, right? So let me show you this. Read there, Jeremiah 17. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. So the Bible says we will discontinue from our heritage. So is it fair to say that Black people and Hispanics, we really don't know who we are. Because when you look at Hispanics, right, mm -hmm. what's the difference between a Mexican and a Guatemalan? Yeah, but what's the big difference, though? They all, they, they same people, but for different than bass. You know, who they believe in. Who they believe in? Well, as far as what? Religion or? Well, they all, they all believe in uh, Christianity because they was brought up in Catholicism. So it's really no, it's really not a difference. We call us all these, we call Puerto Ricans. What's the difference between a Puerto Rican and a Cuban? Right. Matter of fact, what's the difference between American black and West Indian black? West Indian like the Caribbean, Jamaica, Tobago, uh, Trinidad. But, but it's similarities there because we all go through the same thing, like Jamaicans, Proverbs, Haiti, yeah. Proverbs, they got gang issues going on in Haiti right now. Yeah. It's a lot of the same thing that's going on in Haiti and Jamaica is going on here among our people. Yeah. Yeah. But we call ourselves all these names. But you're not going to find these names in Bible. So the scripture said that what? We will do what? And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. Right, the Lord gave us our heritage. Let me show you what our heritage is. Let's go to uh, so, uh, uh, 19. No, seven, no, 17 and 11, 17 and 11. Let's go there. Let me show you. Because the Bible said we will, we will disconnect from our heritage. Disconnect. Not a connect, but a disconnect. So we're going to break away, break off from our heritage. We're not going to longer be cleaved to our heritage. What's our heritage? Let me show you. Sirach 17, verse 11. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for an inheritance. Besides this, he gave them knowledge and the law of life for inheritance. So he gave us knowledge and the laws for our heritage. These are our heritage because when you read the Bible, it has laws, statutes, and commandments. Like you know a few commandments? Think about the Ten Commandments, for example. You know
know some of the Ten Commandments? Name some. Name name a few. I ain't mean to put you on the spot. We we, we engage our people. Just, I'll give you name name me one. I know you know one. You don't know? It's like when you read those scriptures, uh, the commandments is thou shall not. Yeah. Thou shall not blank. So I'm gonna say thou shall not, and you go end it off with a commandment. Thou shall not. No, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> one, one more time, one more time. You got you, you know. Because if I tell you, you're gonna be like, oh damn, that's right. What about, let me ask you this, what about killing? There you go. That's a commandment. Yeah. What about that? What give me another one? Thou shall not. There you go. These are the things that the Lord gave us for inheritance, right? He gave this, he gave this understanding to us first. But guess it's our it's it's the irony in that the same thing that the Lord gave us not to do, we do it to each other every day. Thou shalt not kill, we kill each other every day. Thou shalt not steal, we steal from each other every day. Wait a minute. The Lord gave us this understanding to us. So it's goes to show you that go back to Jeremiah 17, 11, that we would disconnect from that. So that's why it's murder in our communities, it's theft in our communities, it's drugs in our communities. And that's all we came out here to do to bring our people back to their heritage. To understand who they are. We are the Israelites. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.